Hey everyone, welcome to Mix It Up Art. Today we are going to be making this Sunset Kitty Silhouette. So you are going to need some red, orange, yellow, white, black, and green acrylic paint, as well as three different size paint brushes. So I have my wide size, and then a medium, and then a very thin one down here. We are going to be using red construction paper for this project, but if you guys are making this at home, then obviously you can use any paper that you have or canvas. So to get started, you're gonna hold your paper portrait style so that it's longer up and down than it is side to side. We're gonna start with the bottom here and we're gonna start with our wide paintbrush and all we're gonna do is just paint like a hill. So I'm just gonna paint like a, a wavy line that goes up and back down and I'm gonna fill in this entire bottom portion with the green. Next, I'm gonna wash and dry my paintbrush. Now with that same brush, you are going to get your yellow paint and you wanna get a lot of it here. And you're just gonna paint a line that follows that same shape right above the green. And once that line is down, you're gonna go back and blend it with some of that green. So I'm gonna follow that same shape going up in the middle and just kind of blending a little bit of the yellow into the green, just going back and forth. Once I'm happy with the grass, I'm going to wash and dry my paintbrush again. Now what I'm going to do is in the middle of the paper, I'm gonna paint a very big yellow circle. So really I want this to be much bigger than the size of the sun. So that way I have some room to kind of blend it with the orange and the red. Once your circle's painted in, you're gonna get some orange paint on your paintbrush and you don't need to wash or dry it here because what we're gonna do is blend it with some of that yellow. So I'm just gonna make a ring around the sun And then I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna bring some of that orange in towards the center by just going around in a circle. And once I'm happy with that, I'm gonna get my red paint and here I'm just gonna fill in the edges. So I'm still gonna follow that same curve and I'm gonna blend where that orange and red meet, but I'm gonna fill up all the rest of this space. And if you need to, you can always go back to that orange and just kind of blend it because mine's drying pretty quickly. So I'm just gonna add a little more orange and blend it into the red. Once you're happy with the background, you are going to get your medium sized brush and we're gonna start by adding some white to the sun. So what I'm gonna do is just in the middle, kind of towards the top, I'm gonna paint a circle and I'm gonna blend it into the yellow a little bit. And then I'm gonna do a line that goes down the side and again, blending it in. I don't want a bright white circle. I want it to kind of blend in a little bit with the yellow. All right, so I've brought the white around both sides, blended it in, and in the center here, you can see it's a little bit lighter. So I have a little more white in the center just to kind of brighten it up and make it look round. Once I'm done with that, I'm gonna wash and dry my paintbrush. And now I'm gonna pick up some yellow and I'm just gonna to touch up this line here. So I just wanna make sure that everything is nice and smooth. So I'm just gonna go back with some yellow and just make sure that I have a nice smooth line at the bottom here. All right, so now that I'm done touching up everything, it's time to paint our branch. I'm gonna start with my medium sized paintbrush for this, which again, I washed and dried. And what I'm going to do is start on the side here and I'm gonna paint a branch that kind of goes up and then down just under the sun there. Now once I have that single branch, I'm gonna go in with my thinner paintbrush and just add in some tinier branches, just extending off of that. So the goal with painting any kind of branch is basically breaking it up into Ys. So as you can see, I have a Y here, I have a Y here, I can make another one here and also trying to make it so that it's a little thinner as it goes out to the end. So that's why I'm using my thinner paintbrush. All right, so once you're happy with your tree branch, we're gonna start with just the tail of the cat. So basically we're kind of making like a backwards S and then we're gonna come up. And I'm doing this right underneath of the sun. And then on the top of that, we're just gonna do a rainbow shape. 
and we'll fill in the space here. And then on the top of that, what I'm going to do is just paint a U, kind of like a wide U. And at the top of the U, we're going to paint some ears and come up like a triangle. And then we can just do a line that goes across. If you find that your paint is mixing together, what you can do is just take a paper towel and just wipe off the excess paint. And then you'll just layer it on there until you can cover up anything that is blending with it from the background. All right, so that's all there is to our Sunset Kitty Silhouette. I hope if you guys make these and I don't get to see them in class that you please tweet me a picture of them because I want to see your artwork and as always, have fun.